guys, it's Tati Coconut. I'm back for another video. And as you can see with the title, today we get in uh, deep down and personal, okay? I need to figure out what I'm going to refer to that part as today because demonetization we'll work on that also quick disclaimer this is not by any means only for cisgendered women just a quick heads up cisgendered women are not the only people with who has so this is by any means not um for that this is for everybody looking for some care for the downstairs okay i feel like all my videos have been so so family friendly so i mean this still is though and you know what that's another thing because it's like such a taboo topic that then people don't know what to do as we get older because we never talk about it when we're younger because we think it's an adult conversation but it's not an adult conversation this is a human conversation and it needs to be known at whatever age there's not like a too young age to talk about like hygiene so where'd that come from anyway let me just get into this but first if you have not subscribed to my channel yet what are you doing we're gonna give you a couple seconds to do that mm. Did you do it? Good, now you the video and welcome to our family. Also, follow me on my socials. This is where you can participate in polls, all that fun stuff or whatever. Let's just get into this. Alrighty, this is just the first thing that comes to my mind because it it just needs to be said. Some of y'all about to be real mad at me, but it must be said. Some of y'all about to be real mad at me, but it must be said. No, you shouldn't be mad. Okay, number one is by any means necessary, do not, repeat, do not ever put anything up inside does that make sense for example in the shower when you're using soap whether it's scented or not it doesn't need to go inside of you right so our systems like internally is a self-cleaning system how crazy we have our own like little washer and dryer there's no reason you should be putting soap anywhere inside at all doing something like this can make you you probably will be burning first of all burn itch irritation um more prone to infection it's just let's not do it ladies let's not do it i've heard people do it and i'm like where'd i do that at if you're washing downstairs it's good for you to be using something gentle like a dove bar soap you don't need to be using a freaking citrus bath and body works peach and banana scent down there there's babe it's gonna wear off first of all so let's let that dream go and second of all if you have something going on like where your scent is off using bath and body works uh peach citrus citrus soap is not gonna fix it i promise you that it's not gonna mask it it'll probably be a terrible combo of smells and it'll just be like you're not slick, babe. So don't do that. Just go to the doctor. All right, two. Since we got on the topic of scents and stuff, I know that we love the little lacy, you know, undergarments. I know we love the little one stringers, right? Like, we think those are cute. We think those are sexy. We think those are all those things, right? Okay. But babe, try to reserve those for when needed. We don't need to be wearing those around the house 24 hours every single day of the week. We just really don't because they're not hygienic. They are digging up you and then it's just like your sweat your your just everything throughout the day is accumulating it has nowhere to go so it's just sitting there that's where we can get things like infections bv ye like you see where i'm going to take care of her we want to make sure that there is breathable room for most of the day so it's not a moist ugh. I hate that word moist environments are bacteria block parties we do not want that so reserve that for special times reserve that for you know when you want to feel cute or anything like that don't be wearing them every day babe. also i seen this video once of this girl taking her undergarments off and switching them with her friend and i was like is this who we are is this is this what we represent oh my god is this who we are is this what we represent? I was disgusted. Okay, I feel like this is a quick one, but you guys should be using different towels after every shower. I know some people feel like they can reuse and things like that. I... No, I just disagree. I get it. It's like, oh, how is the towel dirty if you use it after you wash your body? Because it is. It's getting wet. Like, it's taking the wetness off your body, right? And we just discussed how moisture is a bacteria breeding ground. So then you're just kind of rubbing it back on yourself, especially downstairs. Not a good idea. Very quick setup for infections and a plethora of other things, all right? Other things that can throw off your pH are, how can I make 
make this uh, channel friendly. Something else that can throw off pH is when two consenting individuals, hmm, right? That can throw off your pH, especially if one of the individuals, hmm. <laughs> I'm going to refer to it as flowers and a garden. You have the garden. <laughs> if people are engaging in girl folk business and somebody releases their flowers into your garden, your pH is going to be like, girl, what the hell is going on? And that is because the flowers have a different pH from your garden. Here comes scientific tati. Okay, so boom. Your garden has a pH between like 3.8 and 4.5. So you are slightly acidic. Then their flowers are slightly alkaline because they're between like 7.1 and 8. So those two mixing together is like... Now, if this does happen to you though and you notice something is off, just go to your gynecologist. Literally, the moral of the story and all this is going to be just go to your gynecologist. Get checked out. You can always go to Planned Parenthood if, um, you know you were younger or something like that you just kind of want things to be discreet i don't want to suggest certain things because i know your gynecologist will be the best thing for that if you've been getting recurrent like situations like that i've researched and seen that boric acid capsules can be good do not eat them do not eat them you can uh <laughs> do not eat them they are supposed to go in your garden next Okay, if you are 18 and up or you have talked to a parent about this before, I personally take probiotics. You can get like gummies, you can get like um, capsules, you can get whatever that are just like women's probiotics that are putting good bacteria downstairs. Basically, downstairs you have the good guys and the bad guys. So they're basically always fighting each other to keep a balanced pH system. Sometimes your bad guys get into like a big mob and they overpower the good guys. If they are overpowering, that's where you can get the scents, that's where you can get the infections, that's where you can get all that type of stuff going on. So to combat the bad guys from getting too large and strong, you can take women's probiotics. This is not like a sponsor of anything. Just do your research, but it is a good idea to look into um, women's probiotic gummies things like that just to boost up the mob of these good guys so that we are always overpowering the bad guys okay okay i saw a thing on twitter the other day if i can find it i'll put it here i probably won't be able to find it, but somebody said the other day that they were having a debate if a pool counted as bathing it doesn't there's, there's no debate let me save you the time it doesn't count as a bath take a shower okay so the next thing is if you're concerned about a uh, smell aroma taste this that smaller remedies for that is truly your diet so again water berries vegetables not eating fast food every day like you cannot expect to get anything delightful if you eat burger king chicken fries every day that's what you gonna be like babe we're looking for we're looking for tropical we're looking for delicioso so yeah make sure you are eating right if that is something you're concerned about as well or something that you have noticed now here's the next one since we started talking about baths and like bathing you can take a bath right but let's let's think logically okay if you're dirty you sweat you did all this stuff during the day and then you get in the bath right and yes there's soap in there yes there's whatever in there but then all the dirt and stuff is just off your body and into this bathtub that you're sitting in so really you're not getting clean it's more of a like relaxation thing or for people i know certain people don't like showers um i know certain people have like phobias or things that are like byproducts of other like mental health situations things like that so if you really need to take a bath take a bath but take a very quick shower afterwards just to rinse all of that off your body and let it run down because you're just bathing in your own dirt. Okay, I feel like you guys have probably heard this before and I think some people think it's a myth, but it is not. Nobody lied to you, I promise. Make sure you're peeing after flower gardeness, okay? Make sure you're peeing right after that because there's a lot of bacteria that builds up and if you just let it sit there, what do you think gonna happen? So make sure you guys are peeing like immediately after and honestly cleaning your garden if you can. Now, I wanna get into like some body stuff as well. So number one, let's talk about body hair yay i hate the fact that body hair is like such a taboo topic as if everybody doesn't grow it and i feel like with girls it's um only ever discussed as like oh 
you'll get some hair on your legs you'll get a little bit of hair on your armpit a little in your garden but that's it no baby we get hair everywhere what chest stomach freaking arms face like a do not feel weird if you have hair in places that aren't uh societally discussed or typically discussed because that is misogyny that is the misogynistic agenda of basically just being like the divine feminine women are just feminine bald creatures no we're not okay no we're not we grow hair just like y'all okay that's it anyway so i'm super happy to see that there's a lot of movements now well i feel like they've kind of passed but still like of just letting your body hair grow however you see fit and whatever makes you happy we don't have to shave all the time we don't have to wax we don't have to do this we don't have to do that but there are some like stipulations that i just want you guys to know so with your armpits right it's pretty like low risk it's pretty like low risk because there's not really like openings there or anything but with your garden we have to be a little bit more careful so again do whatever you want but just like we we're talking about before with like odor and moisture the more that's going on down there the easier it is for things to breed so it's just good to keep things just keep things where you see that your garden is happy with what's going on down there if you feel like you keep getting issues consider that might be one of the issues going on because there's just too much surface area for things to cling on to and get closer and closer in your garden also i'm not a big fan of like feminine washes and like all that type of stuff i'm really not a fan of those i feel like you do not need those at all if your uh ph is off and things like that start going to the gynecologist look at what you're eating if you're eating a bunch of stuff that's like really acidic or really alkaline just like there's so much you can do before we start using chemicals down there i just don't mm -mm. especially when it goes to again inside nothing is going in this garden okay the next thing seems fairly simple and i'm sure you've heard it five million times before but drink your water sis like it's really not that hard i know it seems so simple and so cliche but seriously it water is like your body's cleansing system so if you are drinking a crap ton of water it's kind of doing the work for you of pushing everything out that doesn't need to be there next thing is if you have been experiencing the utis and stuff like that you've been um dealing with issues with like your urinary tract system and things like that all the same uh tips still apply but also cranberry pills cranberry juice things like that can be very helpful for your little bits okay so also like regarding periods and things like that it's i'm not gonna say always you have to figure out what works best with what you do right so i haven't tried the diva cup yet so that is definitely an option as well if you guys have make sure you guys comment below and let everybody know including me what your experience has been but pads are great especially if you're not wearing pads at least wear them throughout the night because tampons again are a breeding ground like just think about it just there's just this object just sitting in you collecting moisture and liquid all day i know some girls will be like oh i just wear one all day or i sleep in mine you're not supposed to do that at all okay also when you're washing your garments make sure you're not using too much detergent or like anything that's too strong because that can also like lead to itching and irritation so be light with it like it's gonna get washed babe don't worry all right guys so i definitely gave you enough for this video for you guys to get on your hygiene journey if you have any other tips or any comments and stuff like that make sure you comment down below but before i close this out you know i have to give my shout out of the week this week's shout out goes to anushka singh here's her page thank you for the love you showed me on my last video i just wanted to give it to you back and let you know that i love you so so much and that will never change all right, guys, so make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe to your post notifications on. You got a lot to do. You better get to it. And I will see y'all in my next one.